Hi guys! So I see you've gotten through the first couple parts of the, um... So hello guys, I see you got through the first couple parts of the HyperDoc. So let's talk about seven habits of effective uh, people. And I'm gonna take this, so this is a book that was done by Stephen R. Covey. And he studied, he looked at how people, highly successful people, are able to function at high levels. And he found seven habits that they, that all these people had in, in, in common. They were pro, proactive. They began with the end in mind. They put first things first. They think win-win. They seek first to understand, then to be understood, synergy, and sharpen the saw. So what does that mean? Well, let's break it down. What does being proactive mean? The word proactive means instead of reacting, taking the action. All right, think about a football game uh, or a sports, any sports. When you're playing offense, you are doing the action. The defense is reacting to what the offense does. So being proactive is doing the action. So example, in um, in uh, for students uh, is um, doing the right thing even without being asked. So for example, I'll give you a proactive habit. Like when you walk down the hall at, in school and you see paper on the floor, instead of walking by it, you're picking it up. When you come into a classroom, being proactive is instead of waiting for the teacher to give you instructions, you're looking at the opening slides and you're taking those actions. You're taking initiatives. You're choosing to do that. I think one of the best examples, proactive, is when we walk into Blackboard Collaborate, Mrs. Keating has a, you know, while we wait slide, being proactive is going into the chat and doing that. All right, so you're taking responsibility. You're taking the initiative. If you have a job, you're not waiting to be told what to do. If you know that, like you work at Dunkin' Donuts and you know that the glass is dirty and it's a break, you're taking the initiative to wipe down the glass. Number two, beginning with an uh, end in mind setting goals. So we've been talking a lot about goals this year, but when we're talking about that, it's not just, oh, I'm going to go to college. It's how are you going to get there? Like for example, with academic advising, even small term goals. Um, I'm looking for ways. I'm being proactive. I know that I want to begin with an end in mind. Why am I doing this homework? Well, I'm doing this homework to be successful in this class, setting goals, um, doing things that have meaning, making a difference, beginning with an end in mind. What is the purpose of me doing this action? All right, I may not like taking Spanish, but I know that I have to take the Spanish to be successful. I may not like having to sit down to do the homework, but I know by doing the homework, I will be more successful in this class. Habit three, put first things first. So this is where you spend things on time that's important. One of the things that I learned recently is the difference between high density fun and low density fun. Low density fund is, spe is spending like 15, 20 minutes scrolling through YouTube. High density fund is going to the movies with your friends or on a Zoom call with your friends and you're playing Uno online, things of that nature. That's putting that high density. Get rid of that low density. Find stuff that I can put, I wanna go spend time with my friends on this weekend, so I have to do this, all right? It means having the power to say no to things that you, you should not do. Making a schedule, following a plan, not using like 
putting first things first. I know I want to have fun Friday nights, Saturday nights, Sunday nights. Well, if I'm going to not do anything during the week, then I can't have fun on the weekend. So make make the fun time the priority so that I can get to the fun time. The uh, habits of successful people, they think win-win, all right? They, 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 they're, they're not avoiding conflict, but they're looking for alternatives to conflict. What can I do instead of doing this? They're looking for you getting what I want, but also considering others. All right. You, when you win, win, how can I be successful without hurting somebody else? win-win. What can I do? I always think of win-win for students. All right, why should I do my homework? Well, I don't want my parents to yell at me. Well, guess what? Your parents don't want to yell at you. That's a win-win. You do your homework and your parents don't get to yell at you. Habit five, seeking first to understand, then to be understood. I like to say this is the power of listening. In this country, we are great talkers. We are not great listeners. See things from other people's viewpoint. Listen to others without interrupting. Look people in the eyes when talking. Just really, really take that time to listen. One of the strategies I like is tell me what you're feeling and then I repeat back what you just said so that you hear what I just said. It's a very good strategy. Next habit is synergy. Valuing people's strengths and learning for them, from them. Getting along with others. Working well in groups, which I know is hard right now. I would say right now synergy, just even when you're put into a group, turning on the mic, working together, talking to people, relearning to engage with people. You know, in this class, like I know, for example, six period, we have some people who are good in math, you know, putting in the chat, hey, I need help with math. Who can help me? And then we can do the, do things like that, but valuing other people. That's what highly successful people do. They don't try and do it all themselves. Don't try and do all your schoolwork yourself. And I love this, sharpen the saw. So that's taking good care. When they sharpen the saw, they're taking good care of their tools. Your tool is your body. So you're eating right, you're exercising, you're taking breaks from, from the screen, you're getting sleep, spending time with people, which I know is hard to do decompressing. I know I, one of the things I love is just reading a book, reading the comics, look for ways to be meaningful to other people. So basically habits of highly effective people is we plan, we work together and we value the contri contributions of other people. So thank you for listening to this. And I'm hoping you will pick one value that you like and really think about how you can use that value.